Hi there, Janko Radkes here for Cord Colors, the show that brings you the future of television today. On this episode, we're taking a first look at the Boxy Live TV dongle, an enhancement to the Boxy Box that was just released this year in Las Vegas in January. And essentially, it's a $50 little device, kind of the size of a USB flash drive. You plug it into the back of your Boxy Box, you plug a regular antenna into it, and then you have free TV, HD channels, broadcast channels, through your box interface with a programming guide, social functionality, and a bunch of other stuff. It retails for $50. Should you buy one? Should you buy a boxy box because of it? Let's take a closer look. So this is it, the Live TV dongle from Boxy. It's a little bit bigger, just about the size of an USB flash drive. Here's the Boxy logo, here's your USB plug. On the other hand, you just screw in an antenna. You can take a quick look in the back. Here's just some barcode and FCC stuff. And in the box, it comes with a small HD antenna, um, which kind of, you can extend a little bit, looks a little bit like when you had a cell phone in the 90s, that's how it looked like. And then it also, they're also going to give you a um, little USB extender, just kind of a little cable that you could plug this into and then plug it into your box if you need a little bit of extra room. But essentially, you can also just use this right with the boxy box. And I'm going to just demonstrate this right here. So I turn my box around. I have my USB ports right here. Tilt this a little. And then there it is plugged in. And you already can see that the signal goes on. It receives some channels here. And then I can start watching live TV. So after you plug the dongle into your boxy box and you connect the antenna to it, basically you have to go through a one-time setup where you scan for channels and it looks what kind of channels, what kind of broadcast channels it can receive in a neighborhood. It depends really on the area where you live. If you have a lot of buildings around you that are really tall, if you have a lot of obstructions, then it might be not as good, the reception, sometimes it's better. Here we are in downtown San Francisco right now. I did the scan a couple minutes ago and I got 39 channels. At home, my situation is a little better. I live on a hill with a view over the Bay Area and I get about 50 channels. So your mileage really may vary. So once you went through this one-time setup, plugged everything in and changed all your options. Then you have a new item here, Live TV in your boxy menu. Let's select this and see how it looks like. It's gonna throw us right into this Live TV view, whatever channel we had tuned into last. And then you can um, use your boxy remote control to basically change channels. And uh, you're gonna see one thing down here that is really interesting. It says one other person is watching. I don't know if you saw that, let's go back. Sometimes it takes a little longer than changing channels on regular TV. But uh, if we you now go up here, one other person is watching. And there you can see already that Boxy is inherently social. So it keeps track of whatever other Boxy users are watching and also what your friends are watching. So this seems to be someone who I don't know personally. But if any of my Facebook friends, if any of my Boxy friends are watching the same show as I am at the same point, then I would see a little icon here. I would see their head, their Facebook profile picture essentially. And then I would know what they're doing right now, what they're up to. And um, as I said, the reception is not as good in the office. So if it pixel, it's a little pixelated sometimes. If I would move the antenna around, use a different antenna, I might be able to improve that. Um, now you can also have an electronic programming guide. So you can, it slides in here and then you can see, uh, it already told us, it's kind of a weak signal there. But um, let's disregard this for a second. So you see all the other shows that are going on right now. You could select any of these and then um, play any of these shows now. And then we can also go a little further down the line. Now this is uh, from now on to 2.30, but we want to know what shows are up after that. So we just browse down the line. It's 2.30 to 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock to 3.30, you get the, the idea. And then if you want to know anything about any of these shows, if you want to know who's at Gaston Anderson right now, or rather in an hour, you can always select um, information that get, had some basic data about the show, some basic uh, programming guide information. And so it's going to tell you a little bit about the guests on reality TV shows. It's going to tell you about um, which episode of your favorite TV show is on, stuff like that. The other interesting thing about Boxy Live TV is the social sharing. Well, you already saw this. It keeps track of what I'm watching essentially and it shares this with other Boxy users, but there's a couple of other levels to this as well. So if I am watching something right now and I really want to let my friends on Twitter know about it, I really want to let my friends on Facebook know about how much I love this, I can at any point open the menu here and then as in any other Boxy, if you watch videos from your hard drive or 
YouTube videos. You can also now, excuse me, um, you can also now uh, tell the world about how much you like this and that you're watching it right now. So you can select it to watch it, to share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tumblr, and then I just click share. And now it's gonna show up as an item on my Facebook profile. Now, this is kind of an active sharing when I really wanna let somebody else know about this particular show. But there's another level going on. Essentially, there's a tight integration between Boxy Live TV and Facebook. So Boxy Live TV keeps track of all the stuff I'm watching all the time and shares that on Facebook with my permission. So essentially, as soon as I tune into a show for three minutes or longer, the system is gonna assume, well, he's watching this, he's sticking with it, and then it sends it as an action to Facebook. You may have seen that in recent days with um, Spotify, for example, with a couple of other services. Whenever you consume media on them, it's gonna send that to Facebook, and then you have a list of all the songs you listened to in the last couple of hours, so you can check out your friends' songs. It shows up in your timeline in a sort of aggregated fashion. The same thing is going on here with Boxy. Essentially, it keeps track of all your live TV consumption. It's gonna share it all with Facebook, unless you're embarrassed because you watch crappy daytime TV soap operas or talk shows all day and you really don't want, to, don't want your friends to know about this, then you can also change it by going in the menu and I have to now check out where this is really quick. I just got this a couple of days ago so I'm still kinda going through it. Oh yeah, here it has a uh, possibility to disable sharing. So for all my guilty pleasures of daytime TV. I disable sharing and tonight when I'm gonna watch PBS again, I'm just gonna enable it again. So this was a first look at live TV for Boxy, the little dongle that you can buy for $50. And uh, I gotta say, I kinda like it. I already have an antenna connected right to my TV, so it doesn't provide me much new content. However, it now gives me an opportunity, I don't have to fumble with multiple remote controls anymore. I don't have to change the input all the time when I switch backs and forth between Boxy and live television. I can just do it all with this one. And I also like the social layer, being able to see what my friends are watching and possibly posting some of that stuff to Facebook myself. However, what's really interesting to this is that the folks at Boxy have said, technically, this hardware would be capable of also being used as a DVR. So they said, they haven't implemented this, they don't have any immediate plans, they might not be working on it right now, but if enough people request it, it should be possible to connect the hard drive to your boxy box and then record shows. And of course, that would be a great help for all those network shows that you may miss and maybe you had a DVR from your cable company before and you kind of miss having a DVR. So having the VR functionality with this would be great. I don't know when it's gonna come, I don't know if, it, if it's gonna come, I think it's technically possible. Um, that being said, I think even without DVR functionality, if you already have a boxy box, 50 bucks is not that much and it's a kind of a nice step, it adds a bunch of extra functionality and especially also a bunch of extra content, content from broadcasters like ABC, CBS, NBC, and a lot of that is in HD. If you wanna watch live events on, on your TV, you can use this as well. I think it adds a bunch of stuff, a bunch of functionality to your boxy box, and it also adds a bit of functionality to live TV when it comes to social sharing and this programming guide, which is kind of nice. So if you have a boxy box, I think spend the extra 50 bucks. If you don't have a boxy box, is this gonna make you buy one? Well, I think an antenna, of course, is cheaper. The boxy box itself is still $170. And then the dongle, so you end up at 220 just to have a programming guide. That might be a lot. But if you're on the fence about it, if you already thought about the boxy box and maybe some other things, I think it's a good combination of live te television and online sources now. So if you're thinking about any of these devices, Roku, Apple, Boxy, and you still watch a lot of live TV, take a look at this combination. It might be worth your money. Are you thinking about buying one of these live TV dongles? Or do you have other interesting ways to watch live TV broadcast over the air television? Maybe you have a DVR on your computer, maybe you use still your plain old DVR. Tell us about this. If you have any questions about this, also please, by all means, contact us, send them to us. You can always email us to cardcutters at gigaom.com or you can go to our website gigaom.com slash cardcutters and you will find um, links to our presences on 
Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, all kinds of stuff, back episodes, show notes, check it out. And otherwise, I'm going to see you next time, and now I'm going to watch some more live TV with Boxy.